Hey everyone! Welcome to the Monthly Review, the monthly show on language learning, where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, new study tools, and discover new resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses I'm about to mention are available for you right now on the website. So, click the link in the description to sign up for your free lifetime account and start speaking in minutes. Okay, today's topic is Technology Meets Technique, the seven tested, timeless ways to learn a language. What's the best way to learn a language? When you first started learning the language, you probably thought about this. There are a ton of study methods, but do they all work? And are they worth your time? In today's episode, you're going to learn, number one, the seven tested learning techniques, and number two, the technologies that you can use for each one. But first, listen up. Here are this month's new lessons and resources. First, the brand new Must Know Vocab and Phrases for Food ebook. If you love eating and learning languages and want to talk about food fluently, then you'll love this new PDF ebook. Download it right now. Next, the How's the Weather PDF Cheat Sheet. If you can't yet talk about weather in your target language, then you're missing out. Download this cheat sheet to start speaking more. Then, there's the top 15 ways to improve your listening skills. Discover the language learning hacks and tricks that will improve your listening skills in minutes. And finally, learn how to express negative emotions. With this one-minute lesson, you master the top 21 words for negative emotions. To get these free lessons and resources, just click the link in the description below. Let's jump into today's topic, Technology Meets Technique the seven tested, timeless ways to learn a language. So, for each of the seven, you get a learning technique and the technology. This technology will help you learn how to apply the technique. These learning methods and tools will help you get fluent faster, guaranteed. All right, the first learning technique here is having talking points. And the technology for it? Vocabulary lists. So, one big problem most beginners have is you run out of things to say. Your vocabulary is limited. You can't talk about your interests and you can't last long in a conversation. And the solution? Talking points or topics to talk about, like weather, food, or hobbies. Just imagine a conversation. You start with greetings. You move on to what you did over the weekend. Weekend, that's one talking point. You went to a restaurant. That's another talking point you can explore. If you know all the words and phrases for these points, you can speak more of the language. So, how do you build a list of talking points? Use our free vocab lists. Our vocab lists give you all of the relevant words and phrases for specific topics. Sports, travel, food, hobbies, holidays, daily routines. If you want to talk about food, pull up the relevant vocab lists and you'll quickly learn all the necessary words, phrases, and questions. Now you can use food as a talking point in a conversation. Then you can jump over to weather or sports. The more talking points you have, the more you'll be able to speak. Number two, shadowing. A powerful way to speak more of the language. The technology here is the line-by-line -line dialogue. Shadowing is simply repeating what you hear. You can apply this technique with any resource that has audio. But if you're using our lessons, Listen to a lesson dialogue, read along, and try to read out loud and shadow the native speaker. This is a proven technique that will seriously improve your speaking. And the line-by-line -line dialogue tool makes it easy for you to listen and shadow one line at a time. This way, you're not overwhelmed by a fast native level conversation. Okay, technique number three, building your own language profile. The technology you'll want for this is the word bank. First, What's a language profile? A language profile is your personal list of words and phrases that are relevant to you. What do I mean by that? Let's say you're 20 years old. You'll want to talk about school, your life, your goals, your weekend plans. You'll want to learn slang. And if you're 40, you don't want to talk about school, right? You may want to talk about your kids, your work, and vacations. So a language learning profile is a list of words and phrases relevant to you, your age, where you're from, your culture, your interests, and your passions. If you're passionate about baseball, then your profile would have a list of words and phrases about the sport. So, how do you build a profile? 
If you're using our site, use the word bank. This is your personal collection of words. When you come across new words or phrases in our lessons or vocab lists, you can save them to the word bank. And the result is, you have a collection of words and phrases that match your interests and lifestyle, your language learning profile. Number four, spaced repetition learning. A great way to learn new words fast. The technology that helps you apply this method is flashcards. But first, what's spaced repetition learning? Imagine you're sitting in front of a teacher. They're quizzing you on vocabulary by showing you flashcards with the word on the front and the answer on the back. If you don't know a word, you'll see it again today and tomorrow and again and again till you get it right. But if you get it right, you'll see it maybe in four days, then seven days, then in 14 days. That's how spaced repetition works. You review words over a spaced amount of time so you never forget them. This is a powerful method for memorizing new vocab and phrases, but you don't have to sort words and force yourself to review at later dates. That's where the technology comes in, the flashcards. If you're using our website, just head over to our spaced repetition of flashcards to take advantage of this learning method. The fifth technique, focus on the high frequency words or the most common words first. The technology, the 2000 core word list a list of the 2,000 must-know words and phrases. So why is this technique powerful? Well, the fact is, there are tons of words out there that you don't need to know. If you're a beginner, you need to learn hello and how are you, and not random words like aardvark and cement. And with the 2,000 core word list, you get 2,000 carefully selected words and phrases, broken down by category. And this is more than enough for conversational fluency you can learn the top 100 words first, then the top 200, 300, and so on, until you know them all. Remember, you can use flashcards or the word bank to study them. Number six, learning with timely, relevant, and cultural lessons. The technology? The free daily dose of language app for the iPhone, iPad, and Android. Let's say today is a holiday, like Valentine's Day, or something seasonal, like the start of spring something everyone knows and talks about. Can you talk about it in your target language? The truth is most learners can't. They're not getting timely, relevant lessons from their textbooks or apps. But with the Daily Dose of Language app, you get timely lessons, holiday lessons, and cultural lessons to improve your language. And if you can talk to a native speaker about a holiday or a cultural point, you're making some serious language progress. What makes this tool so powerful is that it also keeps you on track with daily reminders. You can download our Daily Dose of Language app for free on the site, or search for it on the App Store or Google Play. All right, the seventh technique is getting feedback from a native. The technology? One-on-one -on -one learning with your Premium Plus teacher. So, without a doubt, getting feedback and corrections is the best language practice you can get. If you have a Premium Plus plan, you can send questions, have casual exchanges, or just practice with your teacher. They'll send corrections and feedback so that you're always improving. Your teacher will also send you assignments and they'll hold you accountable. You can also record yourself and your teacher will do a voice analysis. They'll tell you just how close you are to a native speaker and how to improve. And that's it. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about how to fight language learning failure. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share it with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye.